So with my qualifications, that enabled me to help with the iwi. There's fishing, there's resource consent processing, there is liaison work between NZTA, some of our local hapu. We're also developing restoration projects um, in the lower half of the lower part of the white of the Otaki River down at Katihiku Marae. So we've negotiated quite a significant project on the on the Otaki River, working with Komatua and elderly elderly people and also young people as well. But also, I mean, the main part of our work is is collecting fish and relocating them outside of the area and also doing a long-term monitoring program to look at the effects the expressway is having on our streams and wetland species. So for three years after the road is constructed, we will continue monitoring our waterways to make sure that the work has, um, had, has been beneficial for our waterways instead of having a negative impact. We've been catching giant kōkapū, um, banded kōkapū, we've had bluegill bullies, we've had redfin bullies, we've had common bullies, um, we've had tuna, both shortfin and longfin tuna, koda, the kewai, our little freshwater, little freshwater crawlies. So all of those species we target, um, we've also been looking at the macroinvertebrates or the bugs that are in the stream. Um, so it's really looking at a whole range of things in our waterways, it's not one particular thing, it's looking at that, the whole of system approach. Those are the main things we're focusing on but we're also will be looking at any new or created wetlands that come out of the project. So we're not just focusing on the things that are here, but also the things that will be developed into the future and to make sure that those things that are created are functioning, performing and providing the habitat for those species of fish and that um, into the future. We try to relocate to the same waterways that they've been taken out of, so either downstream or up upstream um, of that area. So we've been relocating, so we relocated about 700 eels out of the Pareo Matangi wetlands downstream into the Mangapodi stream and Rangiuru stream, so into the same sorts of environments that they would have had to migrate through um, to reach those wetlands or that stream, so pretty much in the same areas that we've got them from. It's just really nice to see those species in our waterways and know that actually some of our waterways are doing quite well.